Hi everyone. Hi yeah. I'm Gary. I'm Ronnie. We are Garon Stitchery. The house of Garon Tatin Bags. All right, there we go. Um, if you are new, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. We are a floss tube channel about cross stitch, and we currently own an online cross stitch shop. With the the website is listed um, in the drop down menu for you. That's how you shop from us. And we are in the process of opening up an LNS in Ozark, Alabama, uh, sometime in the spring. Fingers yes. crossed. <laughs> yeah, it's lots of construction and lots of mess. Uh, a little bit of progress. We'll put a picture at the end of the latest outdoor picture. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ready. All right. So, if you are new, we did that. We did that? Yeah, he wasn't listening. <gasps> no, I was looking at your right. t-shirt. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. All right. So, uh, welcome back if you're returning. And um, Remember to like and subscribe and click on the little bell there to notify you when we uh, post videos. We do videos once a week. We do them on Friday. The time is always iffy, depends on editing and how long we talk and how long it takes us, but we, we will always get it up on Friday eventually. Yes. <laughs> All right. So uh, first we want to say thank you to one of our fellow floss tubers who shouted us out and they tagged us. How we know people shout us out is they tag us in the drop down menu of there and that and then YouTube will notify us that we were tagged. Um, so that's how we know when someone's tagged us. Uh, and this um, who tagged us was uh, uh, Memphis Sarah E. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Sarah. And Kathy and and Kathy and Karen and Karen verbally tagged us because they let us know, yeah. hey, we tagged you. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> so um, because I was watching it and uh, Karen, Karen, one thing Karen says, you know, Karen have um, bag of stitches. Mm. Why not? Is that stitches a stitch? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just count finishes. <clears throat> yeah. All right. So what we're gonna do first? Uh, just an overview. We're gonna go over what we what we're doing is stitching, and then we're gonna go into what's new in the shop, and then we're mm -hmm. gonna go into um the special section of shop to shop and then after that we're going to do a slideshow of all the um photos of the designer um, nashville releases that we have um i did um i know i got a lot of comments from uh, last week's video about the uh the slides didn't have the words they were missing i don't know what happened i typed it in there and then somehow during the editing upload it they went away so I'll try to do a little bit better this time. There's going to be a lot of them, so I, that's why I'm going to put it at the end. So um, it'll be it'll just be music and slideshows. I'll do a slide of what I'll do this time is I'll do a black slide of the designer's name, and mm -hmm. then the when the, when we need the uh, pre-order by that designer. I'm not going to put names on each one of the slides um, because you can always find the find it on our website by going into Nashville and click drop, clicking on the drop down for um, that designer and you'll see what all the stuff is. Mm -hmm. uh, because I think what happened is I might've put too much words and it just spit it out. So I don't, I'm like, oh no. <laughs> all that work for nothing. Yeah, I know I spent hours on typing and everything. So yeah. anyway, lesson learned and we'll grow with it's, it. It's easy to just put it in the designer. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And then that way it'll tie you back to the website. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, do we have any finishes this week? No me. No me either. <laughs> I just wanted to say no finishes. Yeah. And um, let's go into whips. So I'll do my whip first and then we'll get into the sow stuff. So this month's designer focus is heartstring samplery. And I started on the first. I started a scary sampler by heartstring samplery. It's the one with the Death Star and all the all the movie references, and they put she puts it on the back here of all the books and movie reference of the images. So it's kind of fun to see how many you know, and then oh that's what that means. So it's kind of fun. It's like a little game, and so this is where I'm at right now on this piece. I'm, I'm stitching it on 36 count uh, paper bark by Fox and Rabbit. I'm using one thread over two of Vicky Clayton silks. Except for the words, I'm doing two over two because I wanted them to make sure they popped. Um, I finished 
one, I finished page two. I haven't started page three yet. Well, page one. I finished page two, page three, and now I'm down here on this next page. I don't know. It's whatever, whatever's over here. I'm just trying to follow the frame around to, to get away from the flowers. I was just so tired of flowers. But um, I, I did a little bit of one over one stitching, 42, because it's the answer to the universe. If you know the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Universe. So uh, this has been pretty fun. I'll stitch on this until the 15th of February, and then I'll switch to my um, focus piece for the year. Mm -hmm. And so now let's go into Ronnie's Sal project. Yep. It's hashtag Ronnie Sock It To Me Sal. It's his stocking Sal. And now uh, we're getting this one mm -hmm. and um, make the Santa face, yay. And all that back stitching. And then do back stitching. Last week I was short 30 stitches and this week I made 388. That way I uncovered the, the last week. Okay. Because this week I was busy again, of course. Yeah. I'm finished the bags for tomorrow and uh, I'm working as a painter, I'm working as a gardener, and today I'm working as a housekeeper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And of course, Working and got on his t-shirt too. Mm -hmm. So it's not too late. That you, was my main. Yeah. So it's not too late if you want to join the um, Ronnie Sakatumi style. So just pull out any stocking. You can join any time. There's no requirements. Ronnie's doing 300 stitches a week. Mm -hmm. So the idea is that that's enough that it'll be done by Christmas. So because he, he wants to mm -hmm. give this to his grandniece. And I'm, I'm thinking uh, our counting in this in the stitches on this one is wrong. It's wrong because I'm thinking I'm going very fast. I'm not expecting how all that done by today. Oh, I was thinking you were going slow. No. <laughs> and, um, but if I'm finished this stocking before Christmas, probably I'm going to start another one. Okay. Because I was thinking you need to do more we'll stitches. Keep you guys company. Because I think you're behind. I don't think so. Because I was afraid, you know, I was afraid. And Santa is going very, very fast for me. Yeah. And once you, once he gets into the red, it's going to really pick oh, up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. When I'm going that suit, it's going to be fast. Yeah, because there's a lot of bulk colors. Yes. And then the, the pants on the elves look like they're only two colors. So that'll go fast, too. And I'm thinking mostly the white is going. The white is what's, what's holding me. But I don't know if that is why white. <laughs> Right. But yeah, white was killing me. Yeah. But so you're doing it on 16 count white opalescent, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. That is all that I did. All right. So and now my <laughs> my stocking I'm working on is Olga's autumn stocking. So I started this back in April of 2021, and it just sat out there for a, day, a year and a day or more. Mm -hmm. And so I'm doing it on 36 count Patriots Brew um by r and r and i'm doing uh two threads over two with the called for um threads and i did not get my 400 stitches because i need to do 400 because my stocking's longer i finished a little bit of rows in here i started down here i did this little part here so i'm going to pick this back up tonight and um get the i want to get this this leaf started right here and i want to get all these other little things i want to get all the little stuff before i get to this big giant um pumpkin pumpkin thing i might get some of that but I don't, i'm not going to guarantee that because i don't know how long the editing is going to take but oh you owe me some stitches on this side yeah yeah because huh. i only stitch one day a week thursday on that piece and last night i was so busy with um with designer focus, with not designer focus, with, with um, the Nashville um, stuff, I did, ran mm. out of time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Gary been stuck in the computer for yeah. hours. Yeah. yeah. So, um, and with that being said, uh, if I don't know if you're in, if you're in our Facebook group, uh, Garon Tote Bags, uh, one of our Facebook viewers there, Lisa, was looking for her Enchanted Alphabet by Lavender Lace. And she did find it in the last place she looked. That's what you normally do. And then we were talking back and forth because we were we're going to take this piece and remove the little girl, change all the letters to black, and then make it Halloween themed. Because 
there was a couple of people who did that in the Halloween Facebook group. And so we're kind of copying, but not exactly copying. We're, take, we're taking inspiration from their idea and we're gonna add, change the letters to black, add our own extra Halloween-y things to it and make it personal. So mm -hmm. that's what, it's an out of print pattern. So if you've got it in your stash, pull it out. If you weren't really keen on that little girl, she's kind of, kind of beautiful. She's, yeah, sure. The little angel. I don't know. It's it's just not my style, but I can make it home. It's not a shop, but so, shelves. Yeah. So I'm stitching it on a fat half of 32 count brick by Fiber on a Whim. So what we did is we cut it long way. I cut it long way. So it's a long skinny piece. And, and it's half of the half. Yeah. So it's a long way. And this is where I'm at. I got A to I done. And what's interesting is when you do it in black, does that not look like a little skull or a little ghost face right there now in the eye? So it lends itself to a very spooky feel. And once I remove the little girl, I'm, I wanna put this lady here in the middle. And then I've got like a moon and some, some bats that I wanna put coming out of here somewhere. So I, I'm gonna stitch the alphabet as up to the edge where the little girl starts. Try to figure out placement, exact placement for her, and then try to figure out where to pick up the next part of the alphabet. And then I'll come back and add the other goodies and stuff. So um, thank you, Lisa, for, for putting this in my head. I couldn't put it down. So I picked it back up and stitched about five letters or six letters. It goes quick because it's one color. It really is kind of fun. Mm -hmm. So um, pull out the old stuff what and make it black. Me. The black is a Gloriana silk. Oh, Gloriana silk. Yeah, I don't remember what color it is right now, but oh. um, I think it's like charcoal or something like that mm. because it's got a little bit of not black, black. Yeah, it's a little variegation. Little, yeah. So um, I would say if you're going to do black, then pick your favorite kind of black or pick one that's interesting and just have with it. And now mm -hmm. that's all our personal stuff. You know, cool. Here. Mm -hmm. Now we go what is new and what is back what's, what's in it? the show. Yes. So um, most of this, there's a lot, a lot of stuff in here that's back in the shop. Mm -hmm. We did a lot of reorders because people asked for stuff. There's a few brand new releases in here. So we'll, we'll identify which is which because if you haven't seen it before, technically it's all new to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and if you haven't seen it in a while... It's still new to you because you forgot about it. <laughs> it's my problem. So first of all, this is back in the shop because this is a, this one always seems to keep selling out. It's the Cottage Garden Samplings chart. Um, fabulous Houses. This is the number one pattern. This is uh, Santa's House. And so we have this now back in the shop. I, I have no idea how many we've we've gone through. It just feels like it's a never ending cycle with that one and and then so we got the latest house and number three number three the number three house is called greenhouse so it's a little bit different but is is an actual gorgeous greenhouse with like glass so it's like looks like the snowflakes there and the snow dew this is a really pretty piece for this time of year i think because you know the flowers are are wanting to come out, you want the flowers to come out, and then you got a little bit of snow in there. So this one, most of the patterns have all DMC and one or two uh, over dyed. This particular pattern has only DMC. Mm -hmm. So we did make a couple of thread packs for it with just the DMCs. So um, it was pretty easy to kit out. And it's beautiful. Yeah, and now, the gorgeous, gorgeous one, which is a big, big, big pattern. This is from uh, Cottage Garden Samplings. This is a Symphony of Friendship sampler. Look at that tree. Wow. This piece is big. This is like 279 wide, 379 wide by 229 high. Oh. And to give you some concepts of how big it is, if you're doing this with um with 32 count two over two you're going to need seven skeins of gentle arts shutter green wow 
and the brown for the tree, the Havana, you're going to need 11 skeins of weak side works Havana. Oh. No, 10 skeins. One mice. And then uh, for the kudzu, which is another color in here, I think in the border somewhere, you're going to need six skeins. So this one is, and then the rest of it's all DMC. So um, have fun collecting the threads. We do have um, the shutter green on order with, with General Arts, but as we know, we don't know the timing, the die time when they're coming in. But I did order it months ago before this chart in anticipation. But um, take your time in kitting it up because it's going to take a while to get all the colors. Wow. All right. And this one is back in the shop. This is another one that's super hot. Mm -hmm. um, Primrose Cottage uh, Winter Quaker. And we did get the threads back in last night. Uh, from it, The call for threads is Color and Cotton Battleship. And we have it packed up with two skeins because they said you need two skeins to do this. Um, we did get an email today from them. They did do the Spring Quaker. It's going to be coming out at market. They are not letting anybody pre-order it. So it's first come, first serve when we go into the shop. So uh, we need to run really quick. Oh, we can. Oh, yes, can. oh I'm thinking the customer can order. Cust we can order. Yeah. And we would let, let you know if you do put it on your pre-order, you may or may not get it. It's, it's because I will try to get we it. We will try mm -hmm. to get it. Yeah. We will, you know. I'm going to be in line 6 a.m. Yeah, and we'll, we'll bat our little blue eyes, our little green eyes, and try to, try to you know, say, please, can we skip in line? <laughs> no, no we, we uh, uh, I no, never did that. We wouldn't do that. But we will, uh, we will, as we know, as you know. <laughs> no, you mean funny joke. <laughs> it's a bad joke. As you know, we will try our best to get anything that we can. Yeah. So, um, yeah. just... No, it, no, it, no. It, it dropped. It dropped today. The email dropped. Some of you guys already saw it in their floss tube, but they made sure to let the shops know critically that <laughs> do not pre-order it because it's. They want to make sure. Whatever, yeah. whatever they have there is what's going to be sold. It's funny. Last year, was last year? No, the year before. Um, my turn was going line for the fox and rabbit. Uh -huh. And I said, Gary, I'm going line, and Gary says it's too early, and I say, No, it's no early. I'm go there. It was. Around six people in front of me. Yeah. Yeah. So so we learned. People, uh, stores, owners, they go early to it. When you have to do like this one, they're not going to be sell or oh, oh, pre-order. Pre -order. Yeah. We go there and we were in line yeah. for hours. But, but that doesn't mean that the chart won't be available later. It just means it'll probably be available 30, mm -hmm. day, 30 days or 45 days after the market. Mm -hmm. So or more. You never yeah. know. You don't know. Yeah. But um, just... Just let you guys be warned. It's, yeah, we will try to yeah. guide it, everything you pre-order. Mm -hmm. And then um, this one is back in the shop. Mm. This is a plant of rapid growth from Heartstring Sampler, our designer focus for this year. And this is a quote from George Washington. So I think it's very appropriate for the father of the country and a great patriotic sampler. I love this one. I, I would really love the start. Liberty is a plan, plan of... Rapid growth. Yeah. G W George Washington eighty eight. Yeah. Yeah. So um it's it's a very cool piece. I'm afraid they read sometimes loud because my pronunciation. Okay. Good. 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 <laughs> and then of course um scary sampler is back in stock. So because it sold out last week and so it is back in stock if you were looking oh, what for what you are doing. Yep. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then these are brand new from Heartstring Samplery. It's hot off the, the press. This is a ship for Mary. It's a reproduction antique sampler. And there, uh, there's the name of it. And there's the, the piece. Mm, that's cute. Yeah, it's got the little ship there. I like the little ship. And then the flowers and stuff. Very pretty. A nice border. I love the borders. Yeah, for that ship. Okay. Both people like it. Yep. And then here is another patriotic one with some pretty, pretty red, white, and blue flowers. This is, um, she calls it Americana Mamas number one. And it's called Lady Columbia, you know, because it's District of Columbia. So here is Lady Columbia. Huh. So it's two little pillows. Very cute. I love the idea of the, the flowers. You know, it's, they're all like right in there because it's different. Yeah. All right. 
And then now this one. That is gorgeous. I love it. Now this one right here is the, the last new one from her. This is for the love of stitching. And so it's got like four different patterns on here. There's like need more floss, buy all the thimbles, always losing my needles, and no such thing as too many scissors. Isn't that cute? Great little stuff to put together and put in your little, um, in your uh, stitchy area or, or stitchy room. Mm -hmm. Or stitchy house as we have. We have a stitchy house. Because it's all over the place. It's not in all <laughs> one room. And this little Robin, little Robin Designs, Christmas at Grandma's number three. It is back again. <laughs> Ronnie, you still have a chance. You said you wanted I'm, to stitch I'm, it. I'm, I'm finished when I'm doing it. I'm going jump you with something. Yeah. Ron, Ronnie is definitely a one whip planner person at a time. The rest of us well, are. Well, no, this time, this time of the year, we are very busy and uh, with mm -hmm. the building and everything. Yeah. I'm almost. I'm rushing to make my 300 stitches. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So uh, this one is back in the stock. We had someone ask for this uh, when we when we did the uh, A through the A alphabet um, earlier a few weeks ago. Mm. So this is the CT25. This was the Christmas tree 25. Gorgeous Christmas tree. Yeah. So we got a few of those back in stock. It's so different. It's so cute. Yeah. It is. And um, these... I stitch one of her trees like this. They stitch up very fast. So again, it's it's lots of open spaces in there. And if you're if you're the colors aren't your colors, it's very easy to tweak them because it's only a few colors on the back. So it's very easy to tweak it and make it meet your colors. You know, what do you like for Christmas? And then of course we got uh, these items back in stock. Um, Mill Hill is having issues getting bead packets. I'm not sure what's going on, but I ordered the bead packets and the charts at the same time. Um, so, but we just got the charts in. So um, they are on back order, but this is Winter White Santa. And he does come with a, a crystal that goes on the top of the little tree, the little snowflake crystal does come in the pattern with him. So um, I always like to keep him in stock because he's one that you never know when's going to go out of print mm. because of the crystal, one for the crystal. And he's been a while, around for a while. But he's gorgeous when he's stitched up. He's beautiful. The picture is beautiful. I can't imagine. Yeah. And then See this was going. the latest one that came back. We got it back in the shop. The Muse. I know we had a few people asking for her. She's very cute. Lots of colors. Very cute. And now... We get some big designs. This was um, Love by Jan Hicks. And this, there's a name right there. So um, Cardinals is the season. There's um, this one from Jan Hicks. And then there's two other Cardinal patterns that's coming out at market. So um, I think the designers were all connecting mentally. It's kind of cool. And this one was someone had asked for this pattern. So we got it. It's uh, Ann Richards, Rand Richardson, age nine years. It's a very small. It's That's beautiful. Very, uh, and it's stitched with uh, Vicky Clayton silks. We have Vicky Clayton silks on order. I'm expecting a package from her tomorrow. So we should have the thread pack for this tomorrow or at least Monday, depending on the mail. So there we go. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> but no alphabet. It's very bright. I love the bright colors. I, that's what really, yeah. really um, gets me is the bright colors. And then we have another one from my sister sampler. This is Dorothy Leeds, and this is done all one color. So you could make this a red sampler, a blue sampler. I think, and then they they use a color uh, like I think it's Swamp from Gloriana, which is like a blacky green. But I mean, again, you could pick any any color you want to do this. It's very pretty. So this is Dorothy Leeds. And I believe there was a couple of people doing a sal or something on that one. I'm not sure. I thought I saw something. There you go. So that is it from new and back in the shop. Mm -hmm. And um, <laughs> we're, we're always moving. He's always moving. 
Um, so, wow, that went pretty quick. But yeah. we knew we knew it go quick because we didn't have much going on there. Mm -hmm. Well, designers are working for the market. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and and everybody's waiting to to see what they're going to order mm -hmm. and pick up. Mm -hmm. So um, now uh, we don't have announcements. Um. Yes. 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 We have an announcement because we spoke last week about St. Jude and Shriners Hospital, mm -hmm. and I did the numbers, and in January. We made $50 on the hearts from Marani pattern. So $50 of that will go to split between the two, two um, charities. Mm. And then also we got our YouTube money um, in January, and that was $159. So we'll round that up to $160, and we'll split that between the two. So that means each, design, each um, charity will get $105 a piece. So... Oh. Okay. So, and we'll pop those at the end. So again, uh, the M, the uh, YouTube money that we get is ad money that you know YouTube drops us a few pennies here and there from all the ads they put before our video or after our video. So, and then that comes because of our subscribers, our viewership, comments, um, comments, how popular our channel is. So all that stuff helps um, helps us give the money to a noble cause thank you guys thank you so because of you they got the money yes <laughs> thank you yeah right. okay so if you don't want to watch the next section yes. uh thank you guys for visiting with us but for those of you that are going to stay we're going to do now shop the chop yep we're going to do letter h, h and i So hi, <laughs> and I think I'm going to be in trouble because I was pulling out this stuff and I'm like, oh shoot, my whip list is about to grow. Oh my god! Do you see what happened when I'm because I'm busy and other things? He put it out yesterday. Yeah. And I'm unpack it. Yeah, unpack it so you guys. But when it. I unpack it, I don't attention the shards too yeah. much. All right, so we got a couple of hands across the sea uh, booklets. This is Miss Campbell, 1805. Very pretty books. I love it. They're, you know, metal spire bound and, you know, they've got all the easy stuff there. So there's that one. She was um, a very popular one when she first came out. And then we have two sisters. This is Charlotte uh, in, in, Twist, in Whistle. And Eight, Twistler. In Twistler. 1860, there's one sister, and then we have the other sister, Margaret in Twistle, and she did hers earlier, she did uh, 1854. So there's the two sisters. Uh, which one I like better? Mm. I like this one. I like this one. I have more color. I like this one. Yeah. So, pretty cool. Very pretty patterns. That yep. was yeah. We, that was uh, hands across the sea. Very lovely samplers. Mm -hmm. Now you guys ready? This is where I'm getting. This is where I'm getting in trouble. I'll put it the other way. All right. Oops. Sorry, guys. <laughs> the noise. All right. All right. So now we got hands on design. Hands on design. Yeah, Kathy gets me every time, as you know, and. I have a lot of whips from her, and I have a lot of stuff I want to do from her. So the first one is uh, the Reef House. You know, hands on designs is one of my first um, Desi one of my first designs, and I make it. Yep. Yeah. yeah. The what beat it up? Uh, what was it? I forgot the name. It's something about beat. That uh, yeah. So there is beat. Yeah. This is the Reef House. And this one's been updated to add the other houses. So I think there's all three houses in there. And let's beat yeah, it up. I think, it's, we'll, I think it's in here. We'll show it. Um, <laughs> so now the next one is Stitching by the Sea. It's like a little pillow, little um, pin cushion, and a little home for the pin cushion. So there's that one, Stitching by the Sea. And yes, these are not in alphabetical order because Kathy has an amazing system. Of where she puts her initials 
and she puts a number. So we put it in number order. Yeah, and this is why look out separate. Mm -hmm. Same black and white, but still looking. You can see how it's, it's yeah. separate, yeah. And then we have her Two to Beach series. This is uh, Oh Well. And I gotta be careful because these patterns are on the back of the chart. Mm -hmm. And this one is To the Beach Season. This is uh, A Little Cottage. Those are cool. It's kind of weird because Kathy does a lot of beachy things, but she's not from the beach. <laughs> she's in a landlocked state. So the next one is the block, one of the block party series. This is the Vino. And I believe we have the... And that one bring the fabric for the top. For the top, yeah. Yeah. And I think we have the pens to go with it. But no, oh, they're, they're separate. There. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have a couple uh, of yeah, pens. Vino. Yes, we have it. Vino? Okay. Yeah, we have that. All right. Yeah, so uh, the next one here is um, to the beach series, uh, Surf Life. That's a cool one, the car is kind of funny. And of course, there's a little bikini hanging there on this clothesline. All right. And I like this one, this is a very fun one. This is uh, the good ship sampler. And it's, there are good ships and wood ships and ships that sail the sea. But the best ships are friendships. May they always be. I love that one. This one has two patterns. It's got this one, and then it's got this long, skinny one that you can do. So that is, what's the name? Good ship. All right, and, and this is one that's on my list. I always forget about it. It's very, it could be done really easily within a week. It's Pumpkin Spice Farm. And every time I say, oh yeah, I haven't done that yet. Oh yeah, I haven't done that yet. It's like, oh my gosh. So it's like super fun. Yeah. I even got and the, the dress of this one is the Romina Pet Petrosini. Romina Petrosi. Oh, Romy's Creations. Romy's Creations. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Cool. Yeah. Okay, now that's even, okay, now I have really stitch it because I, I like Romy's threads and I. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a double whammy. All right, the next one here is. Um, oh, say can you see, and it comes with the felt for the top of the drum or the back of the pillow. Yeah. So, so you'll have enough felt to do the top of the drum or the back of the pillow. I think she explains it in her pattern. A beautiful blue. But here is what the drum looks like when it's all <laughs> scrolled out, or you can do the little pillow. So it's two patterns in there. Mm-hmm. And then for those of you with laundry rooms, here is irony, the opposite of wrinkly. <laughs> and again, this is one of those ones that's got very few colors. So like you could change those turk those uh, aquas out to um, to greens or reds or blues or purples, whatever your house laundry room color is, which is kind of fun. Hmm. Easy, easy substitution. I like the way she thinks. Mm -hmm. She's very creative in the finishes yeah. too. And this one has a whole bunch of things in it. It's called Wild Salt Air. Uh, it was a, previously it was a class piece, but so it's got a little, it's got this little piece here, and then it's got this little thing over here. It's got a little biscuit you and a little piece that you can put on a, um, like a spool or a little piece of wood or something, or make it, make it tall. Um, <coughs> um, drum. <laughs> so I forgot the word. You can make a little drum. So that is Wild Salt Air. Oh, I did this one. Did I finish it yet? Yeah, it's over there. Okay. So here is uh, Put put on the Hat. And I did the drum. So this is what the drum looks like when it's all like that. And then here's a little pillow. And she had the velvet too. Yeah, for the drum. Oh, Velvetine is calling um... I don't know how that color means. Velveteen, yeah. Velveteen, yeah. Huh? Not bad. <laughs> yeah, I was. I'm not sure if she. Sometimes she puts velveteen in them. Sometimes she puts um, the wool. But that one is the velveteen. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now we got. Um, this is the scary apothecary series, and the first one that we have here is broomstick, which is really fun. I love how she finished that. 
Uh, I did mine on a banner, so it's all of them in a row. So it, it hangs up pretty cool, but I love the finish of that one. And now, I wonder how she does this organization by numbers. So here's another one from To The Beach. This is on beach time. So there's that one. It's kind of fun. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, look at this. Does this one, oh, that comes with a little mm -hmm. wool piece. So this is House on a Hill. So you get the pattern to do that little house, and then that's the little gingham wool that goes right there, and then you got a little scissor fob. Yeah. And then that's where it looks, how it looks when it's sitting on the side. Because there's stitching on the edge, so it's got like a band of it, square pillow. All right, and there we've got the meow block from Block Party, meow. These are so fun. And it comes with the little wool top. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this one, you guys know I'm stitching this one. I keep getting yelled at by the girls because they're like, it's not done yet, Daddy. Uh, this is Wolf, the Wolf Block. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm changing the poodle to be Ginger's color. And then there's another dog right next to the poodle that could be turned in Princess Leia because it's got a curled up tail. So I just got to finish changing those colors. That's going to be fun. All right, I'm gonna grab a couple of these because it'll be easier so I don't show them through this way. This is from the Scary Apothecary. This is Crackle lo Crackle Lozengers. Well, that's hard to say. A little frog. Look at that little frog right there. All right. Okay. Lozengers. Lozengers. And this is Safe Harbor. Another pretty um, beachy piece. You coming down that way, it's easy for you. Oh, there you go. He, he, he gets me in line. And then here is um, Scary Apothecary Spider Legs. This one was fun. That's I mean, all little spiders and everything. These pieces these pieces were very fun. I, I did it again. <laughs> uh, they're very fun to stitch because there's a whole bunch of Krynix with them, and we have the Krynix there. So this next two... Ooh. is um i'm stitching these i think i stitched this one already um this is phrase the mint it's from the Fi french kitchen series so this was a collaboration between kathy from hands on design and beth from summer house stitch works um there's four in total um they did two each so this is phrase the mint the french kitchen uh-huh and here's the next one from french kitchen it says Pomade and Sage Sajo. Where's it at? You see it there? There it is. I did this one, I think I did that one too. The Apple and Sage. Sage. Is that salsa? I think it's the Sage. Oh, the Sage. Yeah. Mm. Alright, and then, oops, here is. I need a little bit. This. And here's another one that I even got the I even got the fabric for it. I got this fabric already, the ticking fabric. This is cranberry Christmas. Every year I say, ooh, I'm gonna do this one. I want to do this one. I love these little cranberries right in there. It's so cool. My favorite, and then all the little pieces. Alright, now we have um this is jack-o'-lantern. Uh, the Junction Farm, and this is from the um, the chalk series that Kathy was doing a few years ago. So all three pieces are in there for you to stitch, and it's kind of a fun piece to do. I've seen some people change it up a little bit, not do it on the black fabric. So, but um, I think it looks great both ways. Mm -hmm. All right. Now we've got this is another block one. This is Flower of Winter. So it's another blocks house square block and a little scissor fob. So there it is, all squared up. And it's got the little felt. So this is the winter one. What was the other one? Was that just okay? Flower of Winter. Mm, yeah. Okay. I was just kind of thinking. Oh, here's an here's the next one. House on a hill. Okay, so she's using. They're they're not seasonal. This is just house on a hill. 
So there's that one. Uh, it? Cometh the spring. Sorry, cometh the spring. There's so many things to read on these patterns. I'm thinking House on the Hill is a, a series, no? I think that House on the yeah, Hill is a series. I'm, yes. There. Because I see it in other shirts. Mm. So there's four in total. Yeah. Yeah. So here is Holly St. Nick. I am stitching these. And I'm going to get mine finished like this because I have the little buttons. So I'll be sending them out to get finished when they're all finally done. I think I have three done. Mm. This is Jolly St. Nick from the Secret Santa series. And this is um, the Santa Key from the Secret Santa series. I have him done. He was a fun one to do. I changed my key to gold, I think. I think I did. I don't know. I always do weird things sometimes. Um, this is well-rounded. So you got all the seasons and you got three of each one of the seasons. That is super cool. I have done the winter season. I loved the winter season. I still got to do the other three seasons. And I want to get these little hoops and finish them up as, I think they're finished up in hoops. Or no, they're just mm -hmm. rounds. There's little rounds. So I mean, you can put a hoop. Yeah, you could put a hoop. And do it as an ornament. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they were very fun to do. You can do the sunflower one. This one has sunflowers. I can. <laughs> Maybe in 20 years. Oh, okay. So this is another one. It's got four pieces to do with it. This is my Stitcher's Heart. And so you've got the top piece. you got those square strawberry, which is kind of fun. A little scissor fob and then a little piece little bag, like a little bag to do. So there's all that. And this is my Stitcher's Heart. Okay, and we got... Yes, we're still on hands-on design. That <laughs> right. way, that yeah. way. Uh, I don't know. This is Memorial Day. And this one's stitched with a uh, sulky thread. So it's got a sulky thread pack. I, we had a friend who stitched it on Periwinkle from Weeks Dye Works, and it looks really pretty on the blue. So you can do it on a blue, too, instead of white. And then here we have another Secret Santa. This is Silent Night. So this one, That's so cute. Yeah. I think I've done him. Santa flying. Mm -hmm. And he's doing all that music. He's not very silent with all that music that he's doing. And here is uh, Secret Santa, Merry and Bright. It's so bright, Santa's wearing shades. <laughs> I love that. All right. And then we have another chalk series. This is Liberty Chalk Chalk Full. So it's got, I think this is the one oh, that she did. so cute. She, this is one I think she did in collaboration with um, Priscilla. Chelsea, Priscilla. No, it's the other one. I think. Yeah. And read it in the oh. other one. So this is um, Liberty Chalk Full. So there's that one. And then there's the little pillow there. Another little pillow. I think that's the artwork right there. Original artwork. Or inspiration. And then there's that. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it was... Uh, collaboration with um priscilla from stitching with the housewives priscilla uh, blaine mm -hmm. yeah see how other one yeah they, they did a whole series work where they worked together on the chalk series that was fun this <laughs> is another one from secret santa this is dear santa i like that one look at that deer he's so cute and these are all stitched on um Fabrics by Stephanie, the vintage Tiffany that she made for for um, Kathy that goes with these patterns. And then uh, we have Naughty or Nice. Which one are you? I think I'm going to stitch Ronnie's name on the naughty list. <laughs> there you go. And then we have, we have all of the, we have the whole series of this. This is uh, Let's Talk Autumn. 
So this is Let's Talk Autumn, the chalk series. And we have all four seasons. So it's three, it's a main piece, a little pillow, and a little hoop part that you can do. So and then we get some more small ones. Oh, uh, I haven't seen this one before. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right, this is present blessings. Reflect upon your present blessings. Look at that. Isn't that a cute little pillow? So, so sweet. Um, it looks um, it looks very spring, doesn't it look very this spring? This one um, maybe I can show it. On the other side, maybe. Oh. <laughs> it's got the little pink buttons that go right in here. Yeah. Yeah, because that would have been hard to find those if you... Yeah, that kind of makes the piece. Very little buttons. Yeah. Oh, here's one for Ronnie. It's sunflowers. Grace of a flower. Is it sunflowers? May your day be blessed by the grace of a flower touched by the sun. Is that corn? That is beautiful. Looks like a cornflower. Looks like a cornflower, but looks like a... Um, sunflower, too. Mm -hmm. Isn't this cute? Yep. Grace of a flower. Do you know what it is? What? It's a flower. Oh, yeah. Of <laughs> oh, <my> <laughs> right. oh, I have this one done. No this, matter what. It's yeah. A I have this one done. It's on the wall. It's um, Ghosties and Gourds. It's from her um, Banner Year series. This was this is a very fun series. And I, yeah, it was a fun stitch along. Yeah. And this here is one. This is this next series is this is Flamingo Bells, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to get that done. Flamingo Bells, I need to start it actually for my uh, tree. And then here is Flamingo All the Way. Look at, oh my gosh, that is so good. All right, and I think it. There's nine in total, so I am not haven't been keeping count. Have you guys been keeping count? This is uh, Secret Santa, Spread the Joy. Nothing like a green Santa. I love it. Get that. And he's spreading joy. And then we have Jingle All the Way. Let's get all those little bells and stuff. They're so cute. Yeah. I mean, that button that they made with a little holly leaf in there is really a good piece. We had the buttons, no? Yep. Yeah, we got yeah. a pack of nine because there's nine pieces. Mm -hmm. And now we have Let's Talk Winter. So this is the same. It's the winter piece and the little pillow in the hoop. All right. Now, this next one is one I am... I am stitching this one. I think I got one done. I'm working on the other one. Snow Much Fun. And I'm doing this on a white opalescent. So um, it's it's getting there. I enjoy it while I'm stitching on it. And then I change over and I, and I say, why is it not done yet? This one has some interesting little pieces. Yeah. This I'm is sure. with this needle IV thread. <laughs> so it's a little needle book. It's Two needles, too big. I'm sorry. They're right here. They're right here. Okay. They're right there. That is two needles and uh, the spool. The spool of thread. Where does the spool go at? I think the spool uh, goes uh, there. I think the spool goes on the little scissor. Oops, oops. Oh, it's not wanting to. I think it goes it goes on this little thing right there down there somewhere. So you just have to the only thing is you have to get the little jump jump um clip. I think it's called a jump clip. Yep, it's got there. Yeah. Yeah. That's a cute one. And that big needles, where the big needles go? They go right here. It's just part Oh, just uh decoration. Yes, yeah, just decoration yeah. for the um needle book. Yeah, just hanging in the side. All right, so let's talk spring. Again, these were very fun pieces with all the spring words and stuff. And then you got the little spring pillow and the little uh, hoop. So, I mean, you could do just the pillows. I think it'd be cute just to do the little pillows for your for your seasonal display. Mm -hmm. And I think she's got it set 
that if you do it on the 32 count, it's supposed to fit in a standard frame. I remember watching her video when she talked about that. Yeah. Right now we got a bunch of cool little ones. Cool, cool, cool little ones. This is um, 31st. So it's the Halloween block. Oh, wow. I like that one. Mm-hmm. I like the bright. Yeah, because it's because I don't like too much uh, the black fabric, but that it one makes the is color pop. Makes the colors pop. Yeah, yeah. So I, yeah. That and is... we and we have a lot of this. We have this uh, charcoal Lugana, so it's it's perfect for this piece. Yeah, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Wow. And here's the piece when it's all stretched out, so it's open into in like that. Wow. It's cute. I love the brightness. Bright. Mm -hmm. Brightness. Yep. And now this next one here is um, the 25th. So this is the the reindeer. See, look, it's got all the reindeers with their names. They go all the way around it. And then there's ones on the top. Yep. And, of course, that one is on my list to do, too, as you guys know. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to do all of the hands-on design one day. This is uh, from the French Kitchen Series. This is uh, Cuisine Francine. It's the little box. So you, you could stitch it like this, make it a little box, and we have the charms that go with it. And then you put those, um, you, the other four, the idea was to put them in the box when they're not in use, so you would only put one out at a time. But my idea is, why? how could I decide which one to put out? I'd want all four of them out. And now five, so I'd frame all of them. I think it'd be perfect for the kitchen. Breakfast room. You okay? Yeah. All right. So now we have another uh, banner year one. This is the Language of Liberty. This is so funny. When it first came out, I'm like, oh, the Language of Liberty. I'm like, what? Wait a minute. I don't know what language was. These, I didn't know what these were other, in other languages. Of course, it's called Language of Liberty. So you got English, French, and um, Italian, I think. Yeah, English, French, and Italian. I'm, I'm reading it somewhere in my head. But yeah, it's Liberty, Liberté, and Libertad. And that's the best of foreign language I can do. Here's the one uh, Ronnie did. It's, Libertad. It's the Spanish. Spanish? Libertad. So it's French, Spanish, Liberté. and English. And liberty. Okay. Yeah. Well, Italian, some words in Italian is very Spanish. Yeah. Spanish but... so this is the one Ronnie did. It's uh, Turn Up the Beat. Yep. And he finished it in a little box, a little shadow box. It was on one of my first finishes. Yeah. It's one of his... Probably the second finish it. Second project you did, I'm I think. thinking, yes. Yeah. I know. And he went like straight into Kathy with all these color changes for a new stitcher. I'm like, oh God, he's not going to stitch again. But it's, they're so fun. I'm frog many times. Yeah, but but they were so fun to yeah. do. And and it's a, it's a relatively quick finish for a new stitcher. So you don't, it's not something that'll take for years to do. So it gets you hooked. Yeah, I know. Just uh, what happened in this one is you have to be very conscious in counting. Yeah, so it stays in line. And yeah, it stays in line. The way I'm um, counting and I'm... One going down, another one go up. Yeah, and this one had white in it too. White says Nemesis. No, that was good because I don't do in white fabric. No, no. We'll pop. A, I don't remember what fabric. We'll I'm pop with. a picture of it right here of Ronnie's second finish. It. Second finish. <laughs> turn, turn it up, right? <coughs> okay. So now we have. Uh, let's talk summer. I love. I love how they did the little quilting on all the pillows. Little quilting squares. So there's all the summary words. And again, these are fun that you could change the colors out. If you didn't want to do it on black, you could change these colors from white to colors that you like. And that's what I think is really fun with these pieces. Yeah. It's... All right. Now we got, um, this is a the kitchen series. This is Lick the Bowl. Life is short, Lick the Bowl. So it's it's a very fun series. Oh, she did it in the turquoise and the red. 
but um, it's very easy to swap out. It's only only a few colors, and they're all DMC. So that makes it even easier when it's all DMC. It's very easy to pull your own colors. Okay. And then we got, I guess say this one very clear. Do you want to read this one for me? Resting bitch. <laughs> Resting bitch face. Resting beach face. <laughs> <laughs> but it's cute. You got me. <laughs> Everybody say when I say bitch. It's the other word, but it's not. Yeah. All right. Sounds. So, sounds. So now we got signs of the season. This is the first one. Signs of the season. All right. And she gave two colorways, so you could either stitch it in the black or brown fabric. And she changed the colors so it would show up. And then we've got the little bats. So she did black bats or purple bats. So you'd make your own little purple bat pen. So they're they're kitted up. They're packed up. The bats are packed up enough that you would need for the whole series. It's, I think it's like a nine parts to it. Nine no worries for that. No. patterns. So um, there's three patterns, but three on three. So it's three sets of three. That was a charge. This was our first exclusive ever. This is my baby. Um... This is If Pumpkins Could Fly. Uh, this will always be my sweetest pattern. It's it's like right, it's right there, right there, right there. It's out all year long, even before we had the shop. So it's If mm. Pumpkins Could Fly. And I like the fact in her video when she talked about it, she said, you know, if you wanted something to fit, you know, it doesn't have to be a custom frame all the time. You can get a standard frame and then piece in some coordinating fabric and... Um, Rick rack and you can make it fit. So it was very cool. And of course it's got the little Frankenstein, which is why I wanted it. Yeah. Uh, all right, and now we have the next one in the kitchen series. Uh, it came with the house. I have a kitchen because it came with the house. For me, the kitchen is where the coffee pot is. And the cookies. Kathy Haberman was one of the, our high supporters when we started our business. Yeah. And now and we, we have... We really appreciate it. Yeah. She was our first designer that we got our um, our contract, our um, wholesale account with. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what was it called? <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah. And then uh, here is Let's Talk Stitching. So all the cool stuff for stitching. What is this? Is this... Like a little, oh, so it's like a little bag thingy. Little bag thingy, little hoop, and a little thing right there. That was kind of cool. Okay, here we have another group of small charts. And I think this one is the last one in the series. This is um, Take Whisks. Don't be afraid to take a, a whisk. Get it? It's a play on words. And in each part of this, in each pattern there was a small snippet of a free pattern of, of an, a bonus pattern so the bonus pattern fully exposed is right there if you're i didn't hopefully hey it's been out for a while so this is the each pattern has a little part of this pattern that you stitch as you go and here's the next one in the um fright this way series it's called rhyme time so there is rhyme time, and there's the three in black or the three in the brown. And I keep going back and forth which one I like better. So I would, I kind of think I like the idea of mixing them. You know, pick pick one or two to do in the black and one and two to do in the brown and just have them as a mix series. That's why, because here's the last one in the series. These are little jars. So it's witch pantries. They've got toads and warts, hands, you got eyeballs. Okay. Little jars. Those are so cute. Yeah, so I think you could pick and choose. And now here is um, Bottle and Brush Tree Farm. What is that green? That green's a really pretty green. Oh, it's Guacamole by Weeks Dye Works. I love that color. Looks really cool. And it's the, maybe it's the lighting too. It looks really cool. Kind of glows. Uh, and then here is, I, I am working on this one 
I'm working on the little box. This is the Coastal Holiday. I'm working on this little box. And I believe we have the thread pack from Color and Cotton because these are done with thread packs. This is the one that I said I need to start for February. February, because it's a Valentine's Day piece. I said, oh, I need to start this one. A Waffle Lot. A Waffle Lot. It says here, love you a Waffle Lot. And it's a little waffle. And then you make the square pillow. And then this is the front and this is the bottom of it. It's so cute. Yeah, it is. Lots of stitching in that little piece, but it, it, yeah. it would I think it would take you all 28 days to stitch it. <laughs> but it's a great stitch along piece. All right, now this is um Kathy did a, this one one something like this a few years ago called Seasons. This is a remake of it. This is called Season 2 and it's a little um it's one little chart for each month. So you've got all the little representing the holidays all through there mm. so it's pretty cool it's got the it's at the october one's got that that white and black pumpkin why is it the glare oh i'm trying to all right not get the glare there you go oh look at the the for the same for march it's got the um i don't know if you can see it as good there yes okay i don't see it mm. We're getting closer. We got three parts of Kathy Harp. All right. So this next That's one is is from the Banner Year. This is uh, Red She Red She Said, and we do have the thread pack for this one also. And I know someone who got this, and she should be stitching it now. Is it done yet, Andrea? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and this one also has a color and cotton thread pack. So it's, it's kind of cute. I love the little house in there. I see that as a Valentine piece, but only because it's red. Oh, this one doesn't come with the little square. Huh. No. Okay. Okay. So this is fourth. This is the fourth block. So it's, this is what it looks like when it's all spread out. And this is right there. Right. That's a little pillow. A little square pin pillow. And now we have Resting Stitch Face. She did the series. Mm -hmm. Is it me or does that she look... She has stickers still. I think we got one sticker. One of them. We have some stickers yeah. left. This is... Um, does that not look like Kathy? I think it's kind of looking like Kathy. I think she's channeling her inner stitcher. All right. And now we have Life is Jest. Oh, it's Life is Jest. So it's a bowl of cherries. I think this one would go with that kitchen series because it kind of matches. Yeah, it's cute. Yeah. And then, oh, and it comes with a little um, little cherry charm and a little sticker, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, it's not a sticker. It's like a little, little tag. No, at home. It's oh. a tag. Some kind of tag. Yeah. No, it's a sticker. Okay. <laughs> no one people say, do you like Hey, I don't know. Okay, this next one is, she did a, a group of these by season. This is the Summer Basket. These things are really big. We had them at the at the Stitching in the Wild. They're When they're finished, they're like a good, like a little eight by eight kind of pillow, a nice, mm -hmm. good size pillow. And these are the Summer, uh, the Summer Basket. So you get all three patterns. You can read for a few too. Yeah. And now we have uh, Clover and Hive. Look at that. So you got Clovers there and you got the Beehives. So Clover and Hive. That's a fun one. <laughs> and this one's kind of fun too because there's two ways of doing this one. It's called Beach Please. I didn't make them say it. <laughs> so you do it as a pillow. Or what they did is they stitched it on the little on paper on the on the brown paper, and then had it mounted like it's um in a shadow box. Yeah, oh, cool. They're, it's kind of small to see, but there it is. Especially when you put it too close, it's blurry. 
if you put it too fast, there is. I can't. See. You cannot move it. Did you move oh, it? Oh, move you it. Lose I lose it. it. Oh. Yeah. You move it, you lose it. <laughs> All right. So the next one is more beach. Come to the beach where the sea is blue and the little white waves come running at you. That is so gorgeous. Less Mondays, more beach. And it's gorgeous. Yeah. And that blue fabric is popping so pretty beautiful. Fabric too. Blue fabric. Oh, it's Wichelt. Country. No. No, linen, right here. Country French rain. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a Wichelt fabric. Pretty. Yeah. yeah. And then we have this little pattern here. It's called Stitch Some Happy. And how a little tag too. Yep. Notice I didn't say anything. <laughs> Stitch Some Happy. So this is done in a, that is a hoop. I see the little screw thing for a hoop. So they, they did it as a hoop and then they puffed it somehow or the other. The finisher. Kathy's an amazing finisher. Wow. Okay. Tomato, tomato, tomato. Mm -hmm. Tomato, tomato. I remember that one was so hot. Yeah. And she put That's a magnet. She, yeah. And she put a magnet when she finished it. So that, And there's a magnet in the tomato. So it kind of like sits on your mm. tray. It's a super cool thing. I mean, you could do, it's so pretty. You could just frame it. I, I think that would be cool framed. And then now here is the autumn basket. Look at those colors. Who knew, you just throw a little bit of blue in the autumn and it really changes the look of it so much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like the way she finishes it. Mm -hmm. The pillows? The corners. Oh, huh. You'll make a pillow? Maybe. <laughs> All right, here is resting witch face. And that's the last of the series of the of the resting faces so far. Hmm. And then I did stitch this one and it is finished. It's the tree lot. So she did them as little squares. The square looks good too. Yeah, and I did the FFO. And Ronnie did the FFO on mine with the little triangle shape. Yep. I think this would go with that series. That's cute too. Yeah. Oh, Christmas three. Those are pretty. <coughs> yeah. And then we got snow on the ground. So it's like a little. Oh, wow. Is that the same house? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So it's snow on the ground. Here's the little house. It's a square house. And you do felt for the roof. And then there's a little there. scissor fob. I do. So That's so cute. Yeah. I it's love it's it. unique because it's different. You know, you you don't always have to frame everything. Yeah. But it is really cool. Oh my gosh. Oh, I like this one. Okay, here's the winter basket. The winter basket. Those are the pillows for the winter basket. That one right there caught my eye. Look at that big. It's like a gigantic snowflake. You know how I'm about snowflakes, but. It's not white, white, it's a lot of blue. Now we got, um, this is Mad for Plaid. So this one comes with uh, four patterns, winter, summer, oh, let's do it. Was it, what's first? First is spring, summer, autumn, winter. I have to do it by the season. And then we have the little um, 141 um, shelf, Sitter, I think it's what it's called. And you have to assemble it and paint it. Then you can pop your little things in there. So there's the little other seasons. And there's a winner. So it's a great front door display piece on a little entry table. Doesn't take up a lot of space. And it's fun to be creative on how to decorate a small, small section. Now this is another collaboration between Hands-On Design and Summer House Stitchworks. So it's, um, there's a couple of patterns in here. And so this is uh, Between Friends, a spring sampling. So here's the main pattern right there. Mm. And then there's a couple of little biscornews. And then there's like a little, little pillow and a little needle book. And then I think there's something, 
Uh, yep, that was it. There's like three little Biscorn U's if you stack them up. That's the fun piece. And now we have Spring Basket. So, oh, I like that one too with the daffodils. Look like daffodils and irises. Doesn't that look like daffodils? That one right there looks like looks like daffodils, but it's just the feeling of daffodils. So it's the spring basket. I mean, you didn't have to, you don't have to turn those into pillows. They would be just as cute as framed pieces. Here is another one for that. Um, it's plaid all year series. This is Hoppy Easter. Love it that you can get, go to the little section of. Um, for the miniatures and stuff and pick up all the little picks and we stuff. We have the box, you know? Yeah, we have the boxes. Yeah. You have to paint it for me. Fourth of July. I'm not good at painting. Fourth of July. I get more paint on me. And then for our Canadian brothers and sisters, oh, Canada. Your mother liked to paint. I know. I didn't get the painting, G. It, it, it skipped me. It skips a generation. Yeah. So here's O Canada for our Canadian friends. And now we have the Polar Plunge series. This is uh Yeah, this is so cute. Polar Bear Peak. Here's the Polar Bear Peak. And that's done on Polar Plunge, another fabric by Stephanie that she created for Kathy's series. This is Wally the Walrus. I love that. Right, and then we got, well, hello there. And then there's there's another one that she did for, it's called Norwall. And it was, uh, the money from that one went to um, Special Olympics. Her charity? Yeah. Yeah. And here is. Yeah, I mess it up. I miss it. You missed it. Yeah. Oh, I think you still get it. Yeah. Really? Uh, I think so. I'm thinking it was limited. The charity of money was limited, probably. Yeah, I'm thinking she think do this. Okay. So this is a classic Christmas. Isn't that cute? And you know, you see these little easel things at the at the big box stores. And you're like, what do you do with that? That's a perfect way to finish it. Okay. And now we got Day at the Beach. I mean, you could also put that in one of these little boxes, too. Paint it red. Here's Day at the Beach. You can put your souvenirs that you got when you went to, to the beach trip. Mm -hmm. And then here is Happy Birthday. So when it's someone's birthday, you can put that right there. Happy Birthday. And put their little, little gift card there with all their money for their present right there. That's a good idea, no? Yeah. <laughs> and then we have a Puffin Party. The little puffins. All right. Oh, here's what is is this another one of the? No, this is something different. This is just neighborhood. This is a neighbor. This is the pocket neighborhood. So it's a little pillow here and the long skinny scissor fob, like a little town home or something. That's cute. Here's this is another one. This there's two of these, and I need to do the other one too. This is strawberry the berry basket. I love strawberries. Strawberry the berry basket. It's a long, skinny strawberry. It's a different shape. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. And then we have uh, a vintage, a vintage stitch to hexi for the um, people who like to do paper piecing, I guess. All That's the little hex good. there. You finish them all, and then there's a the big one right there. It's a cool finish idea. I mean, it's super cool. Hmm. Well, that's cute. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The last stack of Kathy. <laughs> Hands on design. So here is, uh, between friends, a summer sampling. So here is the summer version of the previous pattern. There's that, the main pattern. And then we've got a couple of other little things. We got like little seed packs. This is cool. There's like uh, little seed packs and like a little 
pillow in there. There's those sections right there. And then there was something, there was uh, one thing in here that you did on white perforated paper. There's like little, oh, there's little buttons. Oh my gosh. All right, there's lots of other goody things in there to do too. Now we have Autumn Calls. Look at that, it's on black. Fun little pumpkin. It's black? Or native. Oh, yeah, it's black and charcoal. Uh, mounted in a blue. A blue felt pillow. Yeah, it's a stitching in a black, mm -hmm. but mounted in a blue fabric. Mm -hmm. That is gorgeous. Yeah. Wow. And then here is a classic haunt. I love that purple. Mm -hmm. mm. I can't believe oh. you know this one. I told you, there's, I mean, I need to do all of them. And here's here's my other berry. This is blueberry. So we had strawberry and blueberry. Here's a blueberry berry. And I like how she finished it with the green on the top. Mm. Now I want to stitch after after this one and, and, and last week we went through all, all all Erica's berries. I want to stitch berries again. It's so cool. You want to have sequins? No. No, those are single stitches. Wow. Oh, yeah. Sorry. It's just stitches. Yeah. Look like six sequins in my ass. All right. So here is pick your pumpkin patchwork. And we have the little board that you'd have to paint from uh, 141. So that's pick your pumpkin patchwork. It's kind of um, a quilter's version of a pumpkin, I would say. You could see it's like four little pumpkins in the corner. In the Oh, cast a spell. Look at that. Got frogs and, and potions and stuff. Cast a spell. All right. Oh, oh. I pulled them this time and I pulled this one twice. I pulled it twice. Yes. I loved it so much. I needed to see it twice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you should have this thing as different. I think it's the same. Why? They want to separate. Yeah, because there aren't there are number order, so that's kind of weird. Okay, I found it. All right. Yep. Is it the same number or was it different numbers? 292, 292. Oh. oh, it got snuck in there somehow. Here is a homestead <laughs> gathering. So you got like four little pillows and a little long um, piece to do. That's kind of fun. I love this long piece, it's different. And then the little circle pillow right there. Very peak. It's kind of patriotic in a way. I don't know. Oh, I love Americana. that next. I love that next one. This is uh, Père Noel. Oh, man. He's a cutie little Santa, isn't he? Oh. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Père Noel. And then here we have the last one, but not the least, is enjoy the stitch so i guess you would put it like on your little box you could make a little box put it on there and then you got a little pin pillow i love the little tomato and the scissors enjoy the stitch and look at those x's those are giant x's that you stitch that's kind of cool it's a simple simple pattern but i mean it's so cool the more you look at it all right so that was hands-on design <laughs> <laughs> yep, as well as that. All right, now we got um, this is um, an, a, a designer from from uh, England, and she'll be coming back to market again. This is Haystack Stitching, mm -hmm. and she did a lot of um, very it, um, English version patterns for like the. This is Stephanie. And it's got all these little crowns on there. This is Stephanie. And it's got all those pretty crowns that you turn into a drum. And then there's a little bitty scissor fob there. But I love that one. That one's in my list to do. Mm -hmm. all right, and this next one is called Posey. So it's a little scissor fob. And I guess, I don't know what you would do with the, with the Posey. I mean, would you put your little scissors in there? Or... Or your your orts or something. I don't know. It's kind of it looked cool. like a scissor holder. Yeah, but she's got giant. Well, I guess those scissors. No. Would, yeah, 
I love those scissors though with the big I like that with the big um <laughs> where you put your hands and fingers in there. Yeah. That's cute. Mm -hmm. That's a cute uh yep. And then this other one she did is the coronation. It's Charles. It's the coronation pillow, square pillow that she did for Charles. And then on the scissor fob, it's got all of the logo emblems of the um, kingdoms in the United Kingdom. Mm. Is what because we I talked to her when I talked to her about it. She, she goes into the story on the piece there. And then the last one is Liberty. And this right here is a little needle book. Yes. Liberty. So it's Americana piece. 1776. Yeah. And that was Haystack. Haystack. Yeah. Now we going to Heart and Hands. Yes, and she has Heart and Hands. Heart and Hand. Oh, you got Heart and Hand. Uh huh. <laughs> so these are not in. What we do with these is we put them in like by size. Yeah. So There's that no way, alphabetical is no number. It's just like it's a free for all. <laughs> yeah. So here is imprints, love and heart. So that would have, that that's a new one. I know that for sure. Love and heart. And then we have magic. Look up, Caroline. Here's a little black cat. All right. And then we got this is a wee one. Uh, snow woes. And this is um, the Joyful Journal series. I really love that. She did one for every month. And I love this little, uh, the December one where the Santa's going up and over the square of the frame. That's a fun idea. And then we have August with the whale. And then here's my other favorite one is March with all the little shamrocks. And then here is January. So we can still get these. We can get all the other months if you're if you're planning on doing these. It's, it's, they are fun. Look at the, the, we don't have this one, but the one behind there, the Valentine's Day one is really pretty. Mm -hmm. One from February. And here is We Santa 2009. We had, a, we had a group of ladies that was trying to collect all of the We Santas. And we they were picking up some of the older years. We, thousand, uh, we Santa 2008. We Santa 2006. Mm -hmm. Oh, now we, so cute. now we got um, Harvest Frill. A little piece. You can finish on that little star foam box there. And then we have Seaside Frill. That's a fun one. Okay, I... All right, I want to set these aside for now because I think I pulled out doubles on some of those. Uh, creeping, creeping it around. I did this one. I have to put it on on the top of my little bowl. This is the ceramic bowl that she had um, made for her uh, patterns. I don't know if we have any of those left, but we'll see if she's going to release any for this year. That's normally where we pick them up at. Here is Halloween frill. Look at that witch. Isn't she cute? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put this over here, over here, over here. I think I'm pretty sure I pulled a bunch of those up. This one's still in the plastic because it's kind of small, but this is uh, the acorn. This was for the teeny tiny little gray um, little thing that she had, and it and comes with little beads. beads. I can't show the beads because oh. the pattern is there. Yeah, but remember, he is who pulled it out of these shards, not me. Did I open them? Mm. I don't know if I opened them or not. No, you didn't. They're from plastic. Oh. <laughs> Here is a Merry Christmas. Look at that little. That is cool. That's a wee one. So it's a Merry Christmas little pillow. And now we have Winter White Whirly Gig. Oh, wow. This is cute. It's a lot of white stitches, my friend. And there's a bird of peace, a little skinny snowman. Very elegant looking. And then we have here, this is the snowman pocket round. 
It's a teeny tiny one. It's it's really tiny. It's only like 30 stitches by 30 stitches. So uh, it just goes on the top of that little, it's, it's, base, it's really like this small. Here's the Hocus, Hocus Pocus Halloween. This was for the bigger one, lid. And here is imprints, Fa La La and Mary. You get both of those little patterns. And now I wanna remember this is the patterns we have in the store, but it's more. Yeah. Okay. Uh yep, I had that one twice. And I had that one twice. And I had this one twice. Oh my god, I love this piece so much. So this piece is interesting because the patterns are sold individually and the border is sold individually. So I'm going to show them, this is the haunted house. And when you stitch them all together with the border, it looks like that. And we have the border too. So, and then here is Witch's Brew. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we have Owl. And then we have Jack-O-Lantern. And then we have Monster. Or you just call him this. Just, just call him Gary. All right. That's it of the small ones. Now we're going to go to the medium sized ones. <laughs> Woo. All right. Mm. I'm having flashbacks of my whip parade. All right. This is um, Blooming Tiny Town. So you can either finish it as a drum or as that piece right there. It's a nice. Yeah. No. Sorry, I can't see. So it's a nice. Uh, could do it as a frame piece or as a drum. And here is Christmas Tiny Town. Which is gorgeous. I, I finished. My, I had mine finished as a drum, and then we're gonna do it that way. Yeah. Okay. And then we have the seaside tiny town. There's that. There's. And now we got a couple of doodles. These are called doodles. This is Doodles Halloween. I love that Frankenstein guy in there. He's so cool. He could be more of a goblin than a Frankenstein. Who knows? All right. And then we have the Doodles Autumn. There's the Autumn. Then we have Doodles Spring. Well, how do we get all the doodles together? I must have. Did that accidentally because that was not on purpose. <laughs> Doodles Thanksgiving. I love that turkey. He's like, oh yeah, he has yeah. no idea. He's the main course. <laughs> and then we have Doodles Winter. Oh my god, look at that deer. I got a little fox and a little deer. Oh, that's so cute. All right, now we have okay, so we only have three of these, two of these. This is a square dance, Halloween square dance. So there's those three patterns. And there's another Frankenstein. Oh my God, she's really cool with the Frankensteins and little bats. And then here is the square dance number three with little trick-or-treaters, little jack-o'-lanterns, little skinny houses. And now we have, oh, this must be her bird series. This tweet is tweet hearts. Tweet hearts, tweet, tweet, tweet hearts, long skinny birds. Okay, hummingbird sampler. Right, that is so cute. This one was stitched for Ronnie. For, mm -hmm. It's on the fireplace now. Yep. Yeah. And then we have the red bird sampler. Uh, this one right here is spread kindness, and it comes with a little heart and a little piece of of fabric. So oh, the little piece of fabric goes here, and the little heart goes on there. So it's spread yeah. kindness. Yeah. Oh, it's cute. Cute, cute, cute. And then we have everyday things, and it's got a little wooden heart. There you go. Everyday things. Yeah. A black heart. And no, it's like it's a little like a blue. blue. It goes right here. Yeah, it's that it goes blue. right there next to the little tomato. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we're back to the tiny town. We got a tiny. This one got snuck in the wrong way. This is Big Hearted Tiny Town. I'll start it this way. And then we'll go up this way. Yeah. <laughs> that All is right. gorgeous. I love this tiny house. Yeah. And this is a Cuckoo Bird Sampler. 
That's the one Ronnie needs because he's cuckoo. Oh, oh, did I say that out loud? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, I stitched this one. This and Ronnie finished it into a pillow. This is a uh, rabbit patch. It's in my little thing with the pillows. Mm. Because you I did it with the carrot me. fabric. Hmm. You show with me. Uh -huh. All right. Uh, now, okay. That is the medium. All right, now we got the large one. So here is the border. So this is just the border, not the not the pieces inside. So it's just the outside border and the little words and stuff there. So you have to buy all the individual ones to get the, to do the whole thing. Oh, it's for the, yeah. Yeah. So that's how she did that. That's for that ones. Yeah. Mm. That's back when they, they did that. A lot of designers were doing that some years ago. And here is Halloween Parade. I gotta get that framed. Or is it framed? I don't know. I think I gotta get it framed. So it's Halloween Parade. That was a very fun one to stitch. And then we have Perfect Snowman. In Search of the Perfect Snowman. I don't think there is such a thing as a perfect snowman. They're all fun. Here's Autumn Medley. It's a nice skinny one there with a bunch of buttons. And now we have, oh, I guess it's a, it's a thing. Perfect pumpkin. <laughs> Perfect pumpkin. All right. And that is it from heart to hand. Yes, it is. And now, I have a bunch of big ones. Our next designer is, hello, Liz Matthews. Oh my God, I loaded her um, market releases on the website today. Mm -hmm. They are some cute ones. I have two that I need to stitch already. Okay. So she already got me. This is, uh-oh. What happened there? I got stuck together. This is After the Rain. After the Rain. That's a fun piece for a child's room, I think. Very happy, happy. Keep going. All right, and now we have uh, Autumn Tree. Look at that with those squirrels. I want to stitch some of these trees. They are so, they look so fun. And when you see them in person, they're really cute. Right. And then we got baskets and butterflies. There's baskets and butterflies, all blue, so you could stitch it, you know, change it to colors that you, your, your favorite blue or something like that. Here's um, Bittersweet Village. Oh, that's kind of cool, too. Very small ones there. Oh, that's so cute. I love the, the flowers are interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Different. Yeah. And here is Boo. You know, I like that one. Boo. That's for you. Yes, it is. And then we have a nice big one here. This has got a bunch of things to stitch. This is called the Dutch Sampler Collection. So it's got all these different things, different excerpts to stitch. So you get all those little things, little pillows, big pillows, big piece. So, and it's a big, big piece. It's 300 by 400 stitches, the biggest one. So these are in alphabetical order. They're not in number order. So this is the eighth day of Christmas. Eighth day of Christmas. I guess those are the maids, eight maids milking. When you guys say it out of, out of order, you're thinking like, what, what's this one? And this one is the one that I want to do. This is the first day of Christmas. I get to find the right color green. What do you mean in the order? They're in alphabetical order. They're not in the first day of Christmas, oh, second oh, day of oh, Christmas. Oh. Yeah, I'm, my brain confused. Um, this is for a friend. I love that one. Mm -hmm. So you can stitch it for a friend? I can stitch it for a friend in 2045. Okay, wow. All right. And now we have... Now we have forced, forced sampler. 
too much another, temptation. This is a very, another very big one, but very pretty. I mean, it would be like a focal point on your wall, I would say. With all those little trees. Oops. Throw my coffee. So this is, um, this is, I would say this one is more of a Thanksgiving piece. It's Gather Here with Grateful Hearts. And it's, it's a monochromatic piece that you could do. Um, they did it with um, silken colors, but you could also do it with DMC. Hey, Caroline, is this one done yet? I think I saw you stitching this one. It's uh, Gifts from My Heart, My Garden. Gifts from My Garden. I think he's just stitching for Give It To Me. I think she is. Yeah. I think she she's making it for you. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yes. Okay, now, uh, Hocus Pocus. Yes. It's right there. So here's Hocus Pocus. It's really cool. Just pick a very fun thread and nice fabric or crazy fabric or crazy thread, whatever one, it'll work. Mm -hmm. This one threw me when I first saw it because I thought, oh, it's fabric. No. It's letters and all the stuff here, all this and that, you stitch it. So it's lots of different color. You're stitching fabric. OMG. That's what makes it so amazing. It's homespun hearts. But it's so, it's so cool. Wow. Because yeah. so I imagine, because it, it's not a lot of stitching. It's a lot of stitching, but I think you would just get in the rhythm of just doing those because they're, they're like very uniform. Here is the ninth day of Christmas. Nine ladies singing, I guess. Ninth day of Christmas. And now we got elephants, parade of elephants. Here's the Parade of Elephants. And then we have um, Pink, Pink Cottage School. That's a cute one. Pink Cottage School. Am I showing it? Yeah, there it is. Is there a little pillow there too? Yeah. Oh, they did like a little excerpt. So she took that piece there and made it into a little pillow. That's cool. And now we have Poppy. This is pretty. I would do it with brighter red for me because I think poppies are very red. So that's nice muted color. And then if, I don't know where you would find that. Um, it's like a glass weight that you, you'd put your stitching on the back mm -hmm. of. It's a cool idea to finish. And here is a pumpkin, pumpkin quilt tree. Here's that one. And now we have ooh, Quaker Gardens, and it's got two cross stitch patterns. So you got the little that one right there, which is kind of cool, and then you got this big one here that's really pretty. I see this one. This one starts when when fall starts coming. This part, this pattern seems to always pick up during the fall because everyone's like, "Oh yeah, I can make that in time for fall." Start now. It's a big one. All Hallows Eve. Start now. <laughs> Now's a good time to start it because uh, it's really pretty. Yeah, it can be a big, but can be a fast stitcher too. Yeah, but it's really fun. <laughs> that way you're not pressured to get it done before the, the Thanksgiving meal. Uh, this is the sampler tree. So she, she, so she got frogs and then like a stick. But in my mind, I always think of going to the flea market or going to the thrift store and getting the candle, the glass, and the, or the, the glass or the brass candle holders, multiple sizes and, and use those is what's in my head to do. This is the second day of Christmas. Two turtle doves. And then we have the sixth sixth day of Christmas. Six geese away. We are halfway, guys. Maybe. <laughs> Almost halfway. All right. So now we have sunshine. 
You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. So it's two little patterns. It's cute. I would, I guess this would probably go in like a guest bath, like a powder bath or something like that. Or yeah, but where's or baby's room? It in different frame. I will do it in both in the same frame. Oh, put it together. Yeah, might I would. I would do it together. It might be too big. Oh, <laughs> can be. Yeah. This is a fun one. This is one that was stitched on two different fabrics and then pieced together. This is the pumpkin house. But you could stitch it all on one fabric. You wouldn't have to do that. I think it'd be just as pretty all on one fabric. Might be easier to line up that way. Mm. But if you do this, you'd have to make sure you use the same count of fabric because you wouldn't want to do a 32 and a 36 because then it wouldn't line up. So mm. you would have to make sure it's the same count. I would probably even go so far as to say, yeah, I would probably say you'd need to do it uh, the same brand. I mean, the same dyer. Yeah. I think that way it would be the same shrinkage. I don't know. Here is the third day of Christmas. Third day of Christmas. That piece is very tricky. I'm just in my head now. How to put it together? Yeah, because they the borders. Yeah. Yeah. All right, now we have Token of Fall. I love this. Look at this bird. Mm hmm. I mean, I would, I don't know, I would stitch just the bird. Look at the detail on the bird. All the bird that. with the leaves. Yeah. Yeah. And then change, remove the letters and put in there a token of, change, put token of fall somewhere and just move all the letters. Oh, okay. This one's on my list. Two pumpkins bright. Look at that. They're so funny. Is that like a vampire pumpkin with like three vampire teeth? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I told you guys, this is getting me into more trouble than it is getting you. Uh, this is vintage sampler. So there's two cross stitch patterns. And then there's all these little, little bitty excerpts that you can take out and make little pillows. What's it called? It's called vanity sampler. And she does, when she does NPIs, she gives you the conversion to DMC. So you could do either or. And I love this one. I know it's it's snowflakes, but I don't know, it's so cool. It's called Winter Garden. But it's like, it now that we're in a cold area, it just reminds me. It looks very wintry. And it's like a January piece, doesn't it? The yeah. deer, because we've got deer in the yard now. So it's kind of cool. So that was the last from... Hello, Liz Matthews. Okie dokie. Wow. Now we've got... we got some others. Uh, we have just a few from Heinzit. Um, and most of these are because people asked for them is the reason we have some of these because these are um, older patterns. <laughs> been around for a while. This is Sweet Land of Liberty. I don't know if you guys remember this piece. There was a, a lot of um, people working, wanting to do this piece for at a time. And it's all DMC, so it's pretty easy. And then here is, these are shadow pieces. There's a little charm there. So this is Thanksgiving, but the words Thanksgiving blend in to the turkey. And there's a little turkey charm or a little no, charm. No, it's um... Cornucopia? Yes, cornucopia. Oh, right. I can see. Hold on. There. Yeah. yeah. So it's only three DMC colors. It's all you need to do this little piece. And then I love this one. This is this is uh, Rudolph the red nosed reindeer, and the jingle bell is his nose. So uh, yeah, he's cute. He's got four colors. And now we have Valentine, Shadow Valentine, and it's got a little key. That's really not much of a and shadow. The, the it's kind of in the corner of the kind of blends in. There it is. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And then we got Easter Bunny. Oh, I see, oh, I see the hole now. Okay, I yeah. see one of the holes. Okay. Ronnie and I was trying to figure out where it's a hole at on these little egg thingies. The one coming three little eggs. And this is uh, Shadow Easter. 
And then they corner so the back. So you can see Easter kind of inside him there going the words. Yeah. So those are, that's a, a fun one. And now we have, we have a Homespun Elegance. And this one is called Stitch, Stitch the, what? Stitch the Away, Stitch Away Night. Stitch Away Night. Stitch, that sounds weird to me. Does it sound weird? Stitch Away Night. That's what I do. I stitch the night away. Oh. Let's say it. This is this is in the wrong way. It says stitch the night away. See back here. Back here it says stitch the night away. Here it says stitch the away night. <laughs> I'm like misprinted. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's a fun. <laughs> Oh, and these ones are in plastic because the, the bag is sealed. Heat, heat sealed, yeah. This is, he? is heat sealed. Oh, heat sealed. Yeah. I think you say heat sealed. No. This is Wicked Cute Cat. Look at that little cat. Yeah. These are fun pieces. And then here is the Witchy Stitchery. That is cute. The Witchy Stitchery. It's a fun little piece. And then here is Pumpkins A Plenty Part Two. And I love it that you got it's all four pumpkins there. And the way they put them together. It's a great idea. Pumpkins A Plenty. This kitty is. No, only one kitty. There's like a cat, a ghost. Yeah. Is there. I don't think there's. Char no, there's not. There's no, no charms or anything. No. Okay. I'm like, I'm touching everything. This is a uh, Quaker Love Letter. And it says, live, love, laugh. See, I, I get, I, I try to get a couple of Valentine's Day stuff. It's a short month, but I still find some romantic things to put in the shop. That, that was it? Yep, that was it. Now we got letter I. So we got just a few things from Imaginating. This is a Feathered Faith. And when it's stitched up, we there was a lady who stitched it up and put it and posted it in our group, and it just was so pretty when it's stitched. I mean, these are computer generated, so it's kind of hard to see it, but it is very pretty when it's stitched up. And then I saw these guys. This is an Ursula Michaels design by Imaginating. It's got snow reindeer. Hmm. Aren't they cute? Super cute, cute, cute. And then here is Halloween Party. You know I'm going to stitch this guy. Oh, I mean, wow. Look at that Frankenstein. And he's got his girlfriend, his witch there. Oh, this is a pretty, very pretty piece. There's back stitching, Not that much. Just a little bit of back stitching around the face and hands. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. And then we got here, I'm just here for the booze. This is a fun piece. You gotta stitch it on green. And then this piece right here is so, it's the back stitching in it. It's, I guess it's kind of like black work, but look at the, look at the back stitching in that. Look at that jar. Look how pretty that jar is. This is a very, this is piece is called, what's it called? Uh, Merry Christmas mason jar. But that's a very, very fancy mason jar. You haven't seen this one yet, have you? Oh, wow. Look at that back stitching. No. Holy cow. And it's done on Ada, so you can do it on Ada. Oh, yes. I have one similar in my stash. Yeah. And then here we have this weird hat thingy. Trick or treat. Look at that. <laughs> it's cute. I love these kind of things. That's cute. Yeah. It's like, it's a Halloween cornucopia. And that was imaginary. Yeah, imaginating. Imaginating. Okay, and now we've got Ingleside Imaginarium. Um, I saw her stuff when I, I saw her stuff at market last year. It is so amazing, the artwork when it's stitched. It's just, 
so, so cool. This is uh, Parsons Griffin. Let's see, I think it goes this way. Mm -hmm. That way right there. That's a fun little piece. Oh, wow. But now these little guys, the uh, Magical Menagerie, and this is the Griffin, and it comes with the little um, piece there to show you how to uh, oh. do the little hoop pattern or something like that. So this is the Griffin. Look at that. And the cage is done with the Krynik. This little? Uh, I think it was. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then here's the Phoenix. Oh my gosh, look at the Phoenix. Look at those colors. I mean, the Phoenix, this is Ingleside Imaginarium. I mean, her colors are just so perfect. And here is, um, it's the Kitsunea. Kitsunea. It's the nine-tailed fox. And then we have the the cock, cockatrice cockatrice. I don't I don't know. I don't, I've never heard of that one before. But it's like in a chicken coop, and and they do the crinic with the chicken coop. Oh my gosh! And this is the hippocampus. It's a seahorse, right? Hippocampus. I don't know what it is. I think it's. I to me, it looks like a seahorse, but I guess whatever a hippocampus is. But look, it's so cool. But I mean, she's a true artist. Yeah, but in these finishes, I, I was looking at these finishes. Uh -huh. I don't like the cages. I think you the know cages how to do the cage. Oh, you don't have to, but, it's, but I, it gave it sparkle. Uh, it was really, really pretty. Removed the the. Um, no, nah, it, it for it, me. Yeah, for me. And this next one is uh, this was a mystery stitch along a few years ago, and so it's the um, the Carm Chimeras Beast Bestiary. That's the name of it right there. Chimeras Bestiary. Yeah, Bestiary. and it's, it's a Greek piece. I want to show it up close. Look, it's like a. With all the, it's got the Minotaur in there. It's got all. It's got a Pegasus. It's a, it's a Hydra. And it's all. It's super cool. And then here is her Spring Dragon. That dragon is, wow. This, look at that. This is a very pretty white, very elegant. You do it on like a soft green. Friendship Green or whatever from Stephanie would be cool. Spring I don't know. Dragon. Yeah. I don't know what fabric they did it on. Picture this plus. Okay, they did it on Jade. But I was thinking Stephanie. That was cool. And then when I saw this piece stitched, I'm like, oh my god. And it's like a it's it's an Empire Emperor Dragonfly. Get it? It's a you're the dragon. It's a dragon fly, but it's a dragon. It's a dragon, but he's like a little dragon fly. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I just thought it was really cool. And he's not that big. He's, he's um like eight and a half inches by six inches when he's stitched on 32 count or 16 count. But he's so funny. A, a 16 count item. Uh-huh. And now, I think we have the last designer. Last designer. Last designer. And if we're in the eyes, who's the last designer of the eyes? Ink circles. <laughs> so here we go. And in circles go by numbers. Mm. It was all. It's, it's letters and numbers. It's, and it's all messed up. We need to. We need to work on ink circles. <laughs> so it's letter number, letter number, and it's kind of weird. But this is the birds and the bees. I I love this piece. Birds and the bees. It is a very cute cute piece. It's all just one color, but it's a variegated brown blue color. Can you tell me? Oh, okay. One. 
All right, so here is, we just showed this one a few weeks ago. This is the hollowed tree. The hollowed tree. This was our latest release that she had a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And this is from the, um, the Tea Time sampler piece that they did last year. Last year was a bunch of tea themed projects. This is the tea berry, tea berry tile. It's so cute. It was very elegant. And oops, the threads. Yeah, I think we still have it. I think we still have the thread pack for that. The silk thread pack. Mm. I, I thought I saw it over there. And now we have Forest Patch. This is Forest Patch. Ink circles are so fun. And then we have in, I think we just showed this one too, in the meadow with the snowman in the center there and the four trees coming off is in the meadow. And this is called Button Button. Button Button. Look at those buttons with needles and threads and that's a cool idea. Yeah, Ronnie needs this. This is a Saju spectacle. So you sew it up and you make it a little glass holder for your glasses. Mm, no, I but it's, it's the letter. So you can read if you can read down there, then, you know, you have good eyes or you have your magnifiers on. Isn't it fun? It was a I think she had a class piece a few years ago, but now she's released it. That's what it is. So I guess you could take it with you when you go to the eye doctor and look down and read it so, so that you, the doctor thinks you can read the wall, but you're reading your your piece. You're cheating. So here we have Oscar's corsage. Again, the girls are saying we're taking too long. Oscar's corsage. Reflections of a Grecian urn. Uh, look at those um, leopards. All right. Oops, get stuck. And then we have uh, Entwine. Entwined. Are those dragons? I think they're dragons in there. I'm not sure. It's Entwined. I'm trying to figure out what... There's a something in there. I can't figure out what's in there. I can't figure it out. Yeah. All right. So the next... Oh, this was... Uh, after the roses, I love this piece. This is a very fall piece for me. It's like Christmas. It looks like Christmas to me. Yeah. So it's a very fall piece. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Yeah. Now this one I definitely know is dragons. This is elemental dragons, and it's water. Maybe because the name you know is dragons. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 wait. There's... Too obvious, no? No, no, wait. There's dragons right there. There's little dragons. See, yeah, look, right it's there. too obvious. Read the, the name. Right there. See, there's dragons. I can find it. <laughs> <laughs> and here is elemental dragons, air. Maybe it's dragons too? I think there might be dragons on this one. <laughs> elemental dragons, air. <laughs> and then we have elemental dragons, <laughs> fire. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <coughs> All right, Elemental Dragon's Fire. You made me laugh. <laughs> and now we have uh roll your own roll your own adventure with full four color families. Oh my It's like God. some kind of game. There's a game in here where you pick you let uh random choices pick your colors or something like that. I don't know. It was, I vaguely remember something about that. It's like a game. Wow. So all color, all four colorways are in the pattern there. This is fairy ring around the rosies. So there may be fairies in here because it says fairy ring around the rosies. I see the little fairies. Do you? There's one right there. Right there. All right. Oh, this was a travel piece. This was that half the fun with all the with the buses and planes and hot air balloons. This is a really fun piece. I watched Sue stitch this one and I enjoyed it so much. 
And the, here is Blue Velvet. And then we have Blue Grass. Ooh, look at this reflection. see it. Oh, it's in black. Yeah. Hmm. Dark blue, maybe. This is Reflections of Ireland. Oh, wow. Look at those colors. Look at some of the moss. Yeah. Wow, this is gorgeous. This is beautiful. Mm -hmm. oh. So here is um, Cube Root. And it's it's very organic. I don't know, it's called Cube Root, but it, to me it feels very organic, like flowers with all the circles. I mean, they look like circles, but they're... Cube but they're, Root. Yeah, Cube Root. I don't know. That's... It's very elegant. <laughs> and here is Reflections of Germany. I need to stitch that one for my, put my graduation year on there. In Germany. <laughs> the eagle? Yeah. Like an eagle? Yeah, it's the German eagle. Mm -hmm. All right, then we have Star <coughs> Star of Sumatra. And we have the thread for this, the Gloriana thread. It takes like six of them to do this. That this, was, um, this was very, hot. this was very hot. <coughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah. Drink. All right, now we have Victorian Lice Lessons. Whoops. License. License. Victorian License. Look at those colors. You say it right. I know, but I just it's got... License, like your license. I just got distracted by the colors, though. <coughs> okay, interesting colors. Yeah. And then here we got Trace R-Y-O. This is another one where it says, roll your own adventure. So all four of those colorways are in there. Is it the same? It's amazing how when you change the colors, it changes the look of the pattern. It looks, it pulls out something different. They look like different patterns. Not this one. I don't know. It, mm, I, don't I don't know. know. It's messing with my eyes. This is blue tulips. Blue tulips. Oh wow, there's a pretty purple one. Uh, pes pentestra? Pentestom. 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 There's that. Pente oh, there's no S. Pentetop. There's an S. Pen Pentemon. Pentemon. It's a flower, no? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Here is wildflowers. I can say that one, wildflowers. It's a pretty color. What's the colors that they use? Classic color. Classic, classic color works. Wow. Oh, what? Well, yeah, classic, classic color works. Yeah. And now we have um, Copic Square. This was a patriotic one. We just had this one a few weeks ago. All right, I know you guys have done this one. Turtles all the way down. <coughs> you got the big turtle there. The strongest turtle is that itty bitty one down here who's holding everybody on his back. How tiny they go. Mm -hmm. no. Oh, I finished this one. I gotta get it. Did I get it framed? No, nope. I gotta get this one framed. Spring snow with the deers. I need it framed for spring. Okay. And then we have dog. <laughs> dog pal. <laughs> Sorry. This is in the. This is in the pattern. Look at this. It's a dog-headed lady <laughs> and the dog feet. <laughs> I love the sketch. I would like to stitch that. Okay, this is Dog Pal. Yeah, every child should put a different artwork. Artwork. Yeah. And then here is Red's Treehouse. Red is a squirrel. Red's Treehouse. That's a, that's a mansion there for a squirrel. Hmm. Oh, for our math nerds out there, here's limited edition. I, I, I saw someone had finished that in the group. I remember now seeing it finished. And then we have five o'clock. 
It's five o'clock somewhere. It's a pretty piece with all the colors. It's lots of colors in that. Yeah. And this is the Garden of Zig. Yeah, we have the thread pack for this. This is Cottage Garden threads, and we still have the Garden of Zig uh, thread pack. That was uh, released last year. I think it was I'm last year. Thinking because it was very hot too. Yeah, the colors are so pretty. Yeah. For some That's reason, very popular. yeah. For some reason, I'm I'm starting to like this one, arranging mushrooms. That is so cute. It's all the different types of mushrooms. I guess it's because it's the red and the gray. It's very cool looking. And that was exclusive for us. Now this one is still an exclusive for Garon Stitchery. You can only get it here. Yeah. It's sand and sun, and we have it kitted up, or we have the thread packs, or we have it individually. So it's sand and sun. This was from the first Stitching in the Wild retreat. Yeah. And now we have arranging pasta. That reminds me, how many of you just, I just had flashbacks of gluing pasta to paper and eating glue. Huh? It was, it was a kid thing. Okay. Elmer's glue tasted so good. And then we got um, the moon, moonbeam tea. <laughs> he's thinking of, he's eating glue. <laughs> moonbeam tea. Lord mercy. Bless you, huh? Hey, you don't ever remember doing, they, they would cut out Easter bunnies and they would pop, 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 and then we would glue it on the paper to make the bunnies. I don't know. Maybe it was just in Germany. Mm, I don't know. This. this is the three little kittens. Is there... Yeah, there's three little kittens and there's a mama cat. I'm like, hmm, this is a good paper. Three little kittens. That's a cute one. Oh, look at this one. Ooh, this is fun. Cirque de Cirlais, circles, Cirque de Cirlais, Cirque de Circles. Six, six pages. Look at that. It's very cool. I don't know if I would do it on black. I don't know. But again, this one, you could change it to any color that you would want to do or pick all one color, one strand, you know, one variegated color that you like. This next one is. Boo to more, boo it, boo it, boo it more. So this is only half of the pattern. Ronnie, you have to remind me to talk to um, Tracy and see if she can release the other half, because it was a, it was a collaboration with another company. Oh really? And I don't know if she has the rights for the other half, but I gotta find out because I want to stitch it. I keep, and I every time we pull it out, I remember, ooh, I want to do it. See, here's what it's supposed to look like when it's all together. It's like a board, like a game board. Oh, when I see the picture, but, I say, this is weird. But we only have half of it. Yeah. Now we have dragons of Sumatra. Look at those dragons. It should be in green. It should be all green dragons. And this is what I'm doing for Princess Lee and Ginger. Dog's Declaration. Life, Liberty, and the Pursuit of Squirrel. Or every cross stitcher we know, because we're all distracted by shiny things. And here is the comparatively small red ship of life. Wow. All right, and now we have. Oh, what is that? I just right there. What's that one? Oh. No, what is this one? Okay. I messed it up here for looking for you. <laughs> All right, so now we've got this is a uh, rabbit rabbit January. Yeah. So this is rabbit rabbit January. So she did these little rabbits. It's all for. She did twelve of them. So this is January's rabbit rabbit. And they're done in Gloriana's, but they're also um, there's also a conversion for other colors. This is rabbit rabbit February. I like that one. It's got little hearts on it. Rabbit, rabbit, March with the flowers. And there's little rabbits. Of course, there's rabbits in every one of them. This is rabbit, rabbit, April. It's got tulips. And this is rabbit, rabbit, May. 
there's white rabbits in there. Your chair is quizzy. I know. So. You're not supposed to move. Okay, I'm gonna try not to move. Rabbit, rabbit, June. Rabbit, rabbit, July. I like this one because it's got carrots in it. Rabbit, rabbit, August. Look at those You carrots. can make that for me. Yeah, I'll make that one for you. Good. You hear that, guys? Uh, rabbit, rabbit, September. Rabbit. Huh. Rabbit, rabbit, October, but there's nothing Halloween about it. Rabbit, rabbit, October. This is weird. Yeah, and I think that's all the rabbit rabbits we got. We don't have the other months. Yeah. All right, now we got um, Thistle and Crown. Look at that with the purple. It's Thistle and Crown, so it's purple and green. And then we have the Two Birds in the Hand. Two Birds in the Hand. This is... And then here is the Red Ship of Lesser Commitment. This is the one I'm doing because it's a small one, but there's a smaller one after that. This is the Red Ship of Lesser Commitment for those of us that are not fully committed. And then we have the Least of the Fleet. This is a hmm. pretty big one. And then we have, oh, I love this one. This is so pretty. Clouds over Veerdom Vird, Land? Veerdom Land? Clouds over Veerland. 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 And this is all done with um, Belsois, Classic Colorworks Belsois, or DMC Conversion. But it's so pretty. Look at those colors. And now the last one. And we yeah. have finished. This is Swedish... Neat ball. <laughs> Swedish neat. Sorry. Swedish neat balls. It's not meat. It's neat. Bells. Bells. <laughs> I'm thinking of, of Ikea. Sorry. Swedish neat bells. Sorry. A little crazy here. All right. All right. So that was it. That was all the that H and I. Ink circles. Ink circles. So, wow. Thank you guys for hanging out with us. Yes, wow. please. Thank you. All right. Now, now that was have, a lot of charts. Yeah, that was a lot of charts. So <laughs> next week, we'll do the next letter. Maybe uh, J and K. Depends on how big J and K are. I think J might take us. Might be. We, when we fill up a box, that's where we stop. <laughs> Yeah. All right. So now we have um, some stuff I want to get back to. I want to want to talk about um, now that we're getting ready to do the next Nashville review. Uh, I wanted to give you some information about Nashville before we go into the slideshow for Nashville review. Um, the the pre order the first pre order deadline is uh, February the tenth. For every de every design in the website for Nashville pre-orders has a deadline okay. pre-order date. Hold on. Today is Friday. Today the is 8th. Friday the 9th. The 9th. Okay. When you see this video, it's Friday the 9th. Yeah. That means tomorrow is Fr the deadline for... Yeah, Friday the... the yep. Yeah. The 10th. Sat the Saturday the 10th. February the 10th is the deadline for the first group of... Yes of uh designers and each design has a deadline of when you gotta get the pre-orders to us that way you'll make sure it's guaranteed pre-order we will be buying extras for the shop but if we don't know how many extras to buy we won't it will we'll have to wait till the next buy order cycle is yeah. all and um so there's like there's i'm not going through all the dates i just want to give you the dates right before uh i will be posting it in the in the I already posted it in the Facebook group for this weekend. And but for y'all who know are in the group. Right, we have it here. Yes. So it's in the video, it's in the Facebook group, and it's in the website of every item. Yes. And um, we've been getting a couple of questions about items, people sending in their pre-orders list, but items that are sold in the website have to be purchased on the website. Nashville pre-order items are items that's not in the website. 
that we are buying specifically for you. Anything in the website, you purchase on the website. Yes. Okay. Because it's ready in the website and it's very hard to it's pull it out and put it in. Yeah, because and... yeah, it's in the... My, my it's account, too much work. Yeah, my accountant gets mad at me because it's in the inventory. So it's got to come out of inventory, in the inventory. It's all it's a nightmare. So, um, and then also Garon gift certificates. Garon gift certificates and that are that are um, given to you or that you have can only be used on the Garon website. You cannot use a Garon gift certificate to pay a PayPal invoice. Yeah. So if you are planning on doing your purchase with a Garon gift certificate, you have to buy the items on the website. Yeah. So that's that's that. Um, yeah, that was that was it from that. Uh, it's been, uh, I think we're almost halfway through getting information from designers. Um, they're probably going to hit me really hard next week. So um, I'll be very scatterbrained next week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm get out of here. Yeah, because uh, when he is concentrating on the computer, doing all that work, yeah, he no one here a fly. <laughs> Trust yeah. me, guys. Yeah, because, because he had to be very concentrated for not make mistakes. Yeah, because that way, because every word typed on the website is done by these fingers. <laughs> if I'm in the shop, I'm down in the sewing room. I don't text. I don't call. Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Because, yeah, because I want to try to get the right picture with the right pattern, with the right price and the right information, and yeah. the fact that it's loaded. Yeah. So, um, the, saying this is, is you call or you email in these weeks, it's probably going to take a time before we reply. Yes. Because he working in both computers. Yeah. And um, I know her computer. Yeah. The only way that I can reply to you, my person, is by uh, messenger on Facebook. Right. But many of you are in Facebook and yeah. you send in emails. But and, we're only and we're only taking pre-orders by email. Yeah, it will take time if, before we reply. Yeah. I'm gonna try to say. Yeah. Because these weeks are crucial. <laughs> <laughs> so it it's yeah. it's a fun crucial. I mean, I enjoy it. It's stressful, but. At yeah, but you don't day, have time for do other things, other things that yeah. you regular do, like reply email Im almost immediately. Yeah, the shipping will be the same mm -hmm. because when I'm coming and check, he he already have the printed the order and yeah. yeah, yeah. So so focusing on that, making sure we get the stuff together for uh, Kimberly when she comes to pick up the mail. Yeah, that's that's always priority. Um, so uh, again, we have our bag sale on fr on Saturday the tenth. Yes, of 2 p.m. 2 p.m. Central Time. So um, check your phone. Your phone will tell you what time zone you're in, and then you either plus or minus times based off of what time zone you're in. Google is your friend when you want to know what time is it someplace else. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then we recommend that you are logged in to the website before the sale starts. Um, make if sure you really want a bag that you're looking for, uh, be ready because like Jackie say in the group, somebody asking how that work and Jackie giving a beautiful, thank you, Jackie. Um, she do a very good explanation about the, the, the process. process of buying. Yeah. And, um, and she say, and the lad is that this is be ready because it's like a black Friday. <laughs> Well, yeah. Sometimes but, yeah. because people go and buy them. Right, but also, but don't think that you can go on at 2 o'clock, get a bag, and then go sh start shopping for f fabric and charts and stuff because your bag's going to be gone. Yeah. It's a limited bags. The maximum par print and have for, say, is eight bags in one size and six bags in the large size. Yeah. And it's no, it's not too many. Yeah, there's there's about three hundred bags, but that's when you add up all the different patterns and sizes. Yeah. And everything. yeah. So um, it's it takes them a while to get that done. And um, yeah, I don't know why now I'm working more slow. But they're handmade. Yeah, they're handmade. I mean, it's a handmade item. Yeah. That's what we do for handmade. Um, uh, yeah. There are going. There's going to be some announcements next week. We, we don't want to mess up 
this weekend's information. So we're going to give up some announcements next week about things coming up new to the website. So uh, beware. Have fun. Oh, really? Yeah. It's new for me too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Website will be changing. Oh, next week. oh, 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 yeah. oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm yeah. not sure what day, but someday next week. I think we you just say after market. No, after Monday. Oh, okay. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> never mind. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so with that being said, thank you guys for spending time with us. Thank and you. And yeah. enjoy the, this week's uh, Nashville Needlework Marketplace slideshow, which is coming up next. Bye. Bye, y'all.